Handicapper Steve here, handicapping of the racing from Aqueduct Racetrack here on Sunday. It is November the 26th, 2017. I'm going to look at the stakes races on today's program from Aqueduct Races 7 and 8. But before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. So let's get on to it. Races 7 and 8 from Aqueduct. The seventh race, it's the fourth running of the notebook stakes, first $100,000. It's for two year olds, New York Breds here. Field of eight horses going the 12th. 1200 meter trip or six furlongs on the aqueduct main track. Six furlongs, 1200 meters, main track. Top pick in this race, I like the number three horse here. Number three, what a catch. Gonna go 3618 in the Super Factor. 3618 Super. Top pick number three, what a catch. Six to one, Gary Barber owns this two year old Colt by Justin Phillips. Top pledger trains this one. Luis Saez gets the leg up. You know, this horse is gonna run, I think running up is gonna run a very big one. Um, it's been screwed by the post shows last few starts. Um, last time out in the Bone Guard at Belmont, seven furlongs, 22nd. Remember this race so clearly. If this horse finished third by 17 lengths, right before the gate, before the race, he broke through the gate, took a lot out of him. He finished third by 17 lengths. You know, it, it just wasn't his day to win. Also, he had a wide post draw. Before that, in the funny side at Saratoga, six and a half lengths, August 25th, horse finished third by three and a quarter lengths, broke eight out of eight, was wide, it had to, you know, really be used that day, and, you know, it just couldn't save ground. Um, and then he, at Belmont, the Rockville Center, six lengths on July 15th, horse won by length, another wide post draw, but this horse just ran very easy that day. And then main special weight for 62,000 against State Breds Belmont, five furlongs June second. Horse won by five and a half lengths that day. Didn't have the best of breaks that day, but uh, a little bit wide, but closed up well. Today off the shelf, going back to the sprinting distance with a good post draw at six to one. I think this horse could upset here today, so he'll be my top pick. So to recap my bets for the seventh from Aqueduct, it's the fourth notebook stakes. Gonna go with the three horse. What a catch! Gonna go three six one eight in the Superfecta. So now let's get on to race number eight from Aqueduct. It's the featured. The eighth race is the Autumn Day Stakes, the inaugural Autumn Day Stakes, purse hundred twenty five thousand dollars. It's your fillies and mares, three year olds and upwards. Field of twelve. 12 horses going the distance of ground here of 1,200 meters or 6 furlongs on the outer turf course. 6 furlongs, 1,200 meters out turf course. And I just showed the diagram. It gives me a second to look down at my notes. Just bear with me. Top pick in this race. I like the number 4 horse. Number 4, Storm Victoria. Going to go 4, 8, 1, 11 in the Super Facta. 4, 8, 1, 11 Super. Top pick number 4, Stormy Victoria. 7 to 2. I read Ortiz Jr. is on this 5-year-old mare by Stormy River. Christoph come on to change this one. Most recently, this horse had a start the 28th of October. What by in 6 furlongs in the grade 3 Ontario Fashion State. Horse finished seventh by four and a quarter lengths. You know, it just didn't do anything that day. Was the favorite and, and just didn't show up. It, it, throw that race out. I maybe didn't like the all weather. Um, you know, they've been trying this horse shorter last few starts. Start forced him in the 22nd at Belmont. Six rungs in the turf course, optional 100. Horse one by one three quarter lengths. Sat back early, last most of the race. Got the lead, uh, closing up well at the end. An all around great race for this horse. Uh, something you don't see on the inner turf course at Belmont horses closing. This horse started, so it was, it was very nice. Um, and then May the 27th, at, uh, plus that was a horse's first start since May the 27th at Woodbine Yielding Ground, one mile in Grade 2 Nassau. This horse finished third by four and a quarter lengths. Just didn't, didn't get that good closing kick. And then a month earlier in the powder break at Goldstream, one mile at April the 29th. Horse finished second by a neck in a field of a dozen horses. This horse kind of dueled at the end of the race. Just couldn't catch, get his head in front. But he ran well that day. His last victory before the Belmont victory um, came on the 3rd of July of 2016. Sam Frong's optional 80 claimer. His horse won by head. He closed up well after a wicked fast pace. I think you're going to see another wicked pass, fast pace here today, and I think he closed up well from it, so watch out for this one. So to recap my bets for the 8th from Aqueduct, it's the first running of the Autumn Day Stakes. Going to go with the 4 horse, Stormy Victoria. Going to go 4 8 111 in the Super Facto. So good luck to all, and please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5. Good luck.